Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Abhijit. I'm working as a data scientist. So I I I have planned to start my own YouTube channel. So that's why I have started with uh, with basic Python. Okay. So I I have planned to bring with all the different topics in data science, okay, which you guys are going to learn in future. And I'll I, I'll give my email ID in my channel so if you guys have any confusion you can raise and and if you guys any one-to-one -one session or training in do so definitely i'm ready to help you guys so you guys can reach me through phone or you guys can email me so based on that case to case basis definitely i'll consider and i'll try to give my level test so now today I have started in Python. Might be so many people will think why not I? Okay, so even I work in uh, I worked in that currently. Is I'm I'm giving preference to Python. Uh, due to a uh, number of uh, reason. Okay, but still R also it's a pretty good. So what is R? R is a vectorized kind of program, and Python is kind of loop based program. So that is the basic difference, but in data science, both is work is almost similar way. Okay, so now coming back to the basic Python, today we are going to teach about the numbers. Okay, so uh, so in this lecture, I'll tell you what is the following topic. I'm going to type of numbers in Python, basic arithmetic, uh, difference between classic division and flow division, and object assignment. Okay. So type of numbers. So what is the type of numbers? So you can say two three type of numbers. Okay, one is uh, like positive numbers. So uh, so suppose as in positive numbers, two, three, four, five. You know all this, right? Okay, the negative numbers. Suppose minus two, minus three. Minus four, right? Is the negative number, right? Then uh, floating twelve point five or twelve point five. So these are the floating numbers, right? So these are the different number. Okay. So what we're going to show you guys today as a Python, also you can use as a calculator. So suppose addition, right? So here two plus one is 3 okay then subtraction 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 multiplication 2 into 2 into 4 division 8 divided by 4 2.0 flow division so 7 divided by 4 is equal to 1 but so what is the flow division so suppose there's an example you could see here it's 7 divided by 4 what but actually 7 divided by 4 is equal to 1.75 so flow division what the strange flow division is not considered in the decimal point only the whole number it will take that means this first part of the race it will not take but in spite of that if we put 8 so 2 here also if you put 8 you will get 2 but only the decimal part you will not get mode okay so the mode 7 divided by 4 is equal to 3 then if you want to calculate the power is 2 to the power 3 right so which is nothing but it's 8 then square root square root of 9 is equal to 3 okay now if you can if you do the arithmetic operation in operation wise okay so 11 into 2 is 22 and 10 into 3 is equal to 30 so 22 plus 30 is equal to 52 okay you can do little complex way also 2 plus 16 and 8 plus 9 and you can put both of them under parenthesis 
and then you can do the operation. So it will work in this way as well. Okay. Now coming back to the variable assignment. Variable, what is variable assignment? The variable assignment, we are assigning some value, a particular variable. And with that variable, we are performing certain tasks. So that is called variable assignment. So suppose here I have assigned A is equal to 5. So what is A? A is equal to 5. B is equal to 6. So we call the B is equal to 6, right? And we can perform C is equal to A plus B. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Okay. Next, reassignment. What is reassignment? Means the variable we have used, we are assigning some other value. So here we are writing A, A is equal to 2. So if we call the A value, so now A is converted into 2 from 5, right? So this is called variable assignment. Now if you run C is equal to A plus B, we'll get 8, right? So these are the basic numbers and arithmetic operation. Okay. So just try to remember this. So today is 28th April. Tomorrow again I'll upload uh, my next lecture. So from there you guys can learn a few more stuff. Okay. But remember the below point. Names cannot start with the numbers. There are there will be no space in between the names. Always it will be with a underscore. You cannot use the special character and it's considered the best practice in the names are in lowercase. So remember all these points. So tomorrow I'll bring some more stuff. So I request please uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification. Okay, so whenever I'll upload some new video, you guys will get the notification. And this this page, this Jupyter notebook. I'll upload it to my GitHub and I'll keep the link to my G, uh, to my YouTube channel. Okay, so you guys easily can download and do your practice. So that's what for today. I think yeah, I'm done. So we'll speak with you guys tomorrow. So till then, till then, be safe. Have a great day. Thank you.